Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. That's right, it's Wednesday, new release day. We've got a brand new prog rock. I guess you can call this prog rock. It's also lots of pop going on in this album as well. Inside Out Records, the brand new release from the solo vehicle of uh, guitarist, singer, songwriter John Mitchell. Lonely Robot is this particular project. A Model Life is the latest release. Okay, of course, John, uh, very, very busy over the years, member of It's It Bites, Arena, Kino, Frost. John has been a very prolific uh, musician over the last, like, you know, 25 years or so. And uh, he's done a handful of albums here with uh, this kind of solo vehicle called Lonely Robot. Again, Model Life, I'm not crazy about the album cover, the artwork. This is like as plain Jane as it gets. But, you know, maybe that's what he was going for. Here's the booklet. All right. Got all the all the lyrics. Got black and white. Very minimalist art we're dealing with here. Okay. And basically, uh, John, of course, plays basically everything. That does all the vocals, guitars, bass, keyboards. He's got a guy on drums whose name looks like uh, Craig... Blundell, Blundell, is what it looks like. Um, art direction and packaging by Graham Bell at Planet Twig. Uh, all songs written, recorded, produced, mixed, and mastered by John Mitchell at uh, Outhouse Studios. So, you know, uh, maybe that's what they were going for here, or I should say he was going for here. A very kind of laid-back approach, not only to the songs, uh, and the instrumentation, but the packaging as well. So this, uh, as you can see, 10 tracks, Inside Out Records. Um, this one's kind of a hard one for me to pinpoint because I've listened to this numerous times. Uh, and I, I like John Mitchell quite a bit. I think he's a very, very talented dude. Uh, great guitar player. Pretty good singer as well, songwriter, arranger, right? He's he's had his hands in so many albums that I have liked over the years. So uh, I, I find Lonely Robot, though, a little bit too laid back for me, okay, personally. Uh, but when I listen to this, I'm like, you know, this is one of those albums that, like, the first time I heard it, I was like, oh, I just can't get into this at all. Second time, I was like, all right, I'm hearing some things I kind of like. Third time, I'm like, all right, now I can see... Uh, a good amount of appeal here. Fourth time, I'm like, all right, a couple songs I kind of dig. Fifth time, I'm kind of like, that's I've kind of hit a wall with it. Kind of hit a wall. Uh, some good tracks are recalibrating. Pretty decent opener. Again, kind of mellow. What this reminds me of, it's uh, it's got this kind of like latter day mellow Pink Floyd meets latter day mellow Marillion meets like. Peter Gabriel solo, you know, John's vocals at times have this kind of Peter Gabriel thing going on. The music itself is sweeping, it's dreamy, it's atmospheric, it's not very rocking, you know, John does plenty of other rocking things with some of the other artists and bands that he works with. Not really that here, okay? Yeah, there's a couple of moments, you get a couple of good guitar solos, a couple more up-tempo things, but for the most part, a lot of these songs just kind of drift and float. Nice melodies, very poppy. If you like mellower atmospheric music, you've come to the right place. Uh, Digital God Machine, catchy as all hell. Really like that song a lot. That's easily my favorite song on here. That That's something I can get into. Species in Transition, that's okay. Starlet Stardust, pretty nice song, right? Good melodies on there. The Island Misfit Toys, wonderful song. That, you know, again, some of this is like kind of prog, but it's more pop than prog. You know, we, th there's uh, you know a lot of uh, progressive albums with it that we deem as prog over the last like 20, 30 years. Uh, there's a lot of pop in that sort of music, in, that, in this stuff. I mean, there, there really is. So that to me, this is more a pop album that's got some adventurous, you know, keyboard textures and the songs are a little long, that sort of thing. But there's nothing really complicated here. There's nothing really heavy and rock in here. But it's very pleasing to the ears, right? Uh, the Alan Misfit Tour is great. Uh, the title track, A Model Life, it's okay. Mandalay, 
That's really mellow. Kind of loses me there. Rain Kings is a really nice song. I really dug that a lot. Uh, Duty of Care, also pretty good song. A little on the lengthy side. That's good. Again, his vocals are really good. I, I am gravitated towards the vocals because, again, I, I dig Peter Gabriel, and I like kind of singers who have that kind of Gabriel slant to their vocal styles. And John does as well. It's very melodic, but it's got that little bit of an edge to it. Really good. Uh, In Memoriam is the last song. That's kind of mellow. You know, for the most part, uh, for myself personally, uh, I find Lonely Robot and this album in general to be, it's a, just a little too mellow for me. It's not really my cup of tea, not an everyday listen for me, but I can certainly appreciate the musicianship and the songwriting craft that went into this for sure. Uh, like I said, there are a handful of tracks that I think are really, really good. Right off the bat, if you're going to go out and experiment before you buy uh, and check out a couple of these songs, Digital God Machine is terrific. The Island Misfit Toys is terrific. Rain Kings is really good. And Duty of Care, those are probably my favorites, but Recalibrating is good. Uh, Starlet, Starless is, is good as well. It's a it's a mellow album. It's a mellow album. If you like this sort of thing, if you like your prog with kind of lots of you know soothing keys and you know lots of vocals, the occasional tasty melodic guitar solo, nothing too too up tempo, right? That's what you get here. Really well produced, great sounding album. It's just not really what I normally would listen to, but. Like I said, I can totally recommend this to people who like this sort of thing. What I would give it, for me personally, probably easy, you know, three and a half out of five stars, right? So, but, you know, if, if you're kind of, uh, if you don't really like kind of mellow or prog, may or may not be for you. If you do, if you like nice melodic prog, some catchy, catchy hooks and things like that, this is a safe bet. So go check it out. Uh, Lonely Robot, A Model Life. Yeah, I don't like the cover at all. I don't, don't like, I really don't like any of the packaging on this whatsoever. Again, it's probably what they were going for. Yeah, I don't know. I want a little something more. It's just kind of there. But anyway, Inside Out Music. All right. So check it out. Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. We also have the links below to our Ko-Fi page and our merch page. And uh, please also hit that like button. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, you may or may not get one more today from me. We'll see how it goes. But uh, hope to see you all at Sea Tranquility Fall Fest in a couple days in Poughkeepsie, New York. And uh, other than that... I am P. Partle. We'll see you real soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.